Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our web development series. In the last lecture, we covered what the different types of displays were. Inline, inline block, block, none, all that good stuff. In today's video, we're gonna be tackling something that's a bit hard to understand, but very useful, the box model. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at our current high object, okay? Right now, it's inline style, or inline display, and the box or this entire object is just the red square that you see right now. There's three different attributes that come with the box model, padding, border, and margin. Let's go over these definitions once. Padding adds area inside your border, okay? It adds area inside of your border. Your border is the line drawn around the entire area of your object and your margin is area added outside of your box, okay? So let's go ahead and say that I have a box and I'm gonna make this black and I'm gonna say that this is my box right now. This is some content. It can be a paragraph tag, it can be, um, it can be an image, it can be uh, anything you want it to be, all right? It can be a list, it can be an anchor tag. Let's say that this is some tag and I gave it a padding of 10 pixels. Well, the definition here says area around content inside the box. So what it's gonna be doing is it's gonna increase my box size 10 pixels everywhere. So basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna add 10 pixels, add 10 pixels, add 10 pixels, add 10 pixels. So if I'm background color before, let's go ahead and use uh, blue. If my background color before was just this, after saying padding 10 pixels, it's gonna increase my background color to be this, all right? Again, padding increases area inside your box. Your border is basically the border of your box, the size of your box. If we didn't have padding, then our box or our border would have just been this, this black line, this black box I drew. But once we added padding, our border increased and our border became this big box. So if I had said border one pixel solid black, it would have drawn me this black box. And then margin is space outside of the box. We've made this box, this box is finalized. But let's say I had another box, okay? It's gonna be a bit messy guys, but bear with me. Let's say I had another box that was like this, okay? My current space between these two boxes is this distance right over here. This is my distance between the two boxes. Let's say I felt that the distance between these two boxes was too close. I can increase the margin of my box. The margin is basically the area of my box that's outside. So I can go ahead and say margin 10 pixels. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna increase the distance by 10 pixels. So it's gonna move this box 10 pixels to the right. It's gonna move something over here 10 pixels to the right, 10 pixels and 10 pixels, all right? So this was definitely a bit confusing to understand, but just go ahead and bear with me as we make an example of this, okay? So let's go ahead and get back our two objects and I'm gonna say inline block, inline block, and let's have them back, refresh, okay. So these are our two objects, um, hi, hello. Now, right now, if you notice, our high is very close to the left. That looks really bad. So what we can do is we can give it a padding left of 20 pixels. What is that gonna do? It's gonna add 20 pixels to the left, okay? That's what padding is. It adds content or it increases the area of the content inside the box. I can say padding top 15 pixels to make the distance from the high to the top of my box a bit bigger to make it nice and well spaced. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for my second box so that there is, uh, they're synonymous, they're the same. All right, fantastic, that was padding. What's border? Border is the line around your entire box. You can say border, one pixel, solid, black. Again, border takes in three parameters. How wide your border should be, the type, there's solid, there's dotted, there is dashed, and then the color. So if I refresh, you can now see a really faint border. I'll go ahead and make it bigger so that you can see it. 
save, refresh. This is my dashed border. I can have it dotted. That's my dotted border and I can have it solid. Okay. Solid gives it a nice black border. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for my hello box as well. And I'm going to go ahead and make this dashed and I'll make this blue. Okay. Refresh. Now we have given our boxes borders. Again, border is basically a square drawn around the entire area of your box, basically all the content. A better way to think about this is whatever your background color is showing, whatever space your background color takes up. For example, our background color was taking up this entire space. Then think of the border as a line drawn around it. And the last thing that we're learning in this lecture is margin. Margin is a space between your object, your tag, your block and another block. So let's say these two blocks are too close together. I can say margin right 10 pixels. And what this does is it adds 10 pixels of space between these two refresh. That's 10 pixels of space. I can make this a hundred pixels and it's going to add a hundred pixels of space. I can do the same thing for the left one. Let's say I say margin left hundred pixels. By doing so, I add 100 pixels over here from this object and 100 pixels from the left of this object, which gives me a combined 200 pixels. So just to recap, what's margin, what's padding, what's border? Padding is the area, is the content that's inside the block. Padding allows us to increase the background color, the background space by adding padding 10 pixels, padding 15 pixels, etc. There is border which is basically a box drawn around the entire object. And then this margin, which basically adds white space to your object, which increases spacing and allows you to position your objects better. One nifty trick that I want to show you guys before I end this lecture is something known as making all of your things in one line. For example, I don't want to say padding, uh, left 20 pixels, padding top 15 pixels, padding, uh, right 10 pixels and padding bottom five pixels. That's just bad code. Yes, it works, but no one wants to do that. Instead, what I can do in one line, I can say starting from the top 15 pixels, then right 10 pixels, then bottom five pixels, and then left 20 pixels. I can now delete these four, save, refresh. It's the same thing. So the way you can specify all four top, right, bottom, left, is just in that order. You specify how much you want top, how much you want right, how much you want bottom and how much you want left. The exact same thing works for margin as well. And one last thing you can do is you can say padding 15, 10. And what this does is it says, I want padding 15 pixels top, 15 pixels bottom and 10 pixels right, 10 pixels left. It's basically top bottom, right, left. Or you can just say padding 15 pixels to make it all 15. Anyways, that's it for me in this lecture. Hopefully you guys understood what box model is. Again, it's nothing too complicated, okay? Just think of it as, you know, you have a box, you can have stuff inside the box, you have a border around the box, and then you can have space outside of the box. See you guys in the next lecture.